Hi, this is Niles Matip for Money and Markets TV. Last week, I went over the various types of individual retirement accounts, or IRAs, that are available to investors. But today, I want to tell you about one feature of Roth IRAs that make them particularly attractive to anyone planning on leaving money to an heir. Unlike traditional IRAs, Roth IRAs do not require you to ever begin taking minimum distributions. That means you can leave every single penny of your retirement account to your designated beneficiary. Your heir will then have the choice of withdrawing the entire amount by the end of the fifth year after your death or begin receiving minimum distributions based on his or her life expectancy. And with either choice, the proceeds should be virtually tax-free. For example, say you leave your Roth IRA to your son. If he decides to take minimum distributions, the IRS will divide the value of your account by the number of years your son is likely to live, and then they pay out the resulting figure annually. Now, imagine if you loaded up your Roth IRA with stocks that steadily increase their dividends, and just think what would happen if you were reinvesting those dividends back into more shares. You'd be combining complete tax efficiency with multiple layers of compounding interest. With enough time, you could leave behind a nest egg that rises faster than the rate of your heir's mandatory withdrawals. I'm sure you can already see the value of this approach, but as great as it would be for a son or daughter, it would be even better for a grandchild or great-grandchild. After all, those minimum distributions are calculated based on the recipient's age. The younger he or she is, the less money comes out every year, and the longer the account can grow. Obviously, this plan only works if the beneficiary agrees to opt for the minimum annual distribution, rather than withdrawing the entire value of the account. But, if you have an heir you can count on, I consider this one of the smartest strategies you can possibly pursue. If you're eligible for a Roth IRA, take advantage of it. And even if most of your money is currently in a regular IRA account, it may be worth your while to roll it into a Roth. You will take a big tax hit in the process, but if your goal is leaving that money to a child or grandchild, the Roth could prove to be the smarter wealth builder over the long haul. And that's definitely something to be thankful for. I'm Niles Matib for Money and Markets TV. Thanks for watching.